What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Thank you for joining me today as I delve into my review of Dishonored 2 on PlayStation 4. Dishonored 2 is a sequel to the critically acclaimed 2012 release Dishonored. The original game was created for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC platforms, and while the critics love the game, the sales to date including the PS4 and Xbox One remasters has surpassed 4.2 million in sales. Dishonor was recognized as a noteworthy property early on by Arcane Studios and Bethesda. As the number one best-selling new franchise of 2012, it also set and broke records in sales around the world, and was even the number one selling game in certain territories during its initial launch. Now, four years later, Arcane Studios has set out to outdo their previous efforts of the original game and bring their next vision for the Dishonored universe to a new generation of gamers. This is the Beastly Gamer review of Dishonored 2 on PlayStation 4. As always, this review will cover story, gameplay, graphics, and sound. Story Dishonored 2 takes place 15 years after the events of the first game. You take the role of either Empress Emily or her father Corval, who is a royal knight and the protector of his daughter. The city of Dunwall has done well under your rule, but there's been someone murdering all of your enemies and attempting to frame you for those murders. During a ceremony celebrating the life of Emily's late mother, a duke from a neighboring kingdom arrives with a guest. This guest claims to be Emily's estranged aunt Delilah, and also claims to be the rightful heir to your throne. After a brief battle, your guards fall, and then you're given a choice to either play the game as Emily or her father Corvo. And from this moment, this choice will dictate the rest of your experience. Whoever you don't choose will be encased in a magical barrier by Delilah, and you will then be knocked out and in prison. And when you come to, it will be your job to escape, wreak havoc on those in your kingdom who've turned on you, to rescue your only family, and to exact revenge on Delilah. I had a ton of fun playing through Emily's story. The revenge that is served in this game felt so sweet, it was one of my favorite parts of the game. There are tons of twists and turns in Dishonored 2 as well as factions that you can side with or kill if that's what you're really into. The campaign took me around 12 hours to complete, and the fact that the choices you make during the gameplay have a real impact on the end of the game makes every decision all the more meaningful. For instance, there will be times where you can save people who are going crazy by finding antidotes or kill them when they turn on you. But be very cautious with these choices as they definitely will affect the end of the game. Gameplay Dishonored 2 is a stealth action game and there's so much amazing flexibility in the stealth and the action. I played as Emily and let me say there's so many ways to approach the gameplay in this game. You can go full stealth if that's your thing, or you can whip out your sword and your pistol and go full tank if that's what you like to do. Dishonored 2 gives you so many ways to play, it's seriously insane. There's a bevy of supernatural powers that you can access, and if you so choose, you can play the entire game without using even one of them. Dishonored 2 implements skill trees with active and passive powers, and there are so many abilities that it's no chance that two gamers will play the game the exact same way. I use Emily's awesome powers like Mesmerize, which places a magic totem in a location, and when enemies see it, they get so shocked and amazed that you can easily kill them, sneak past them, or knock them out. Emily's domino power allows her to mark multiple enemies, and once they've been marked, any damage done to one affects all of them. Emily's shadow walk ability sends a doppelganger running through an area that looks just like you, and it'll distract the enemies. All the powers in Dishonored 2 are upgradable. For instance, upgrading the domino ability adds more enemies to the tether. And if you upgrade Shadow Walk, your doppelganger will be able to attack enemies. Between the passive and aggressive abilities, there are so many ways to play making this game stunningly varied in gameplay styles. Another great aspect of the gameplay is the shooting and the melee. Attacking enemies will eventually result in them dying, but to speed up the process, you can time your blocks, then attack while the enemy is stunned. This will result in a brutal instant kill. This tactic is extremely helpful in mobs of enemies. Shooting bullets and arrows is almost as varied as the powers you have in Dishonored. Everything from bullets to flame arrows to darts that make your enemies run away in fear are all part of your arsenal as well as grenades, wire traps, and other devious devices of death. There are also areas where your technical know-how will come in handy. In later sections of the game, you'll be introduced to a new enemy called Clockwork Soldiers. These towering robots are deadly and have incredible vision, but if you're able to get close enough, you can rewire them, making them fight alongside you and against other enemies. The secret is to never be seen and seldom be heard. Walking fast behind enemies will get you noticed fast, as they seem to be very aware of their surroundings. Get spotted by an enemy, and he or she will alert anyone in the area to your location, making stealth all the more attractive. 
The great thing is if you find yourself in a bind, there's always a way to get out. You can teleport, create a doppelganger, or fight. There's simply so much to love about Dishonored 2's gameplay. Graphics If you played the original Dishonored, then you know exactly what to expect from Dishonored 2. A beautiful open world, mesmerizing magical abilities, and characters that look like something out of a Tim Burton fairy tale. With Dishonored 2, the beauty and artistry at Arcane Studios is on full display. Everything from the vast open areas to the enclosed palace locations and mansions look amazing and complement Dishonored 2's unique art style. Nothing seems out of place. There are bustling towns with people at work, there are bars, apartments, and one thing I'll say, there's so many people, non-player characters in this game, it does make Dunwall and the surrounding areas feel alive. The visual aesthetic leaves nothing to be desired, and to me it worked extremely well. Sound I honestly loved the sound in Dishonored 2. The voice acting was great, and the chatter of unsuspecting guards always made me laugh, as they always swore they just saw me. The ambience, weapons, melee sounds, and the cries of an enemy as you slice them in half all complement the game and add realism to the experience. Final Thoughts Dishonored 2 was an unexpected journey for me. I saw a Black Friday deal on a new game, and I gave it a shot, and man, I'm happy I did. This game is awesome and it certainly challenges the players to try new things. There are so many things I left out of this review simply because I could be here writing all day. But I'll say this, out of all the games floating around right now, Dishonored 2 might get lost in the shuffle, but it really shouldn't. This game meant more to me than I would have ever expected. The story, stealth mechanics, ways of traversal, and abilities alone made it a top tier game in 2016, but the fact that all the choices I made on my first run can be changed leading to an entirely new outcome makes Dishonored 2 even greater than I can say right now. If you want long lasting fun and to embody a royal badass, then you gotta give Dishonored 2 a shot. It's one of the greatest games of 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I've been really trying to get it out. It's been kind of a busy week for me. I'm really looking forward to doing my review of The Last Guardian, the game that has all my attention right now. But please let me know what you think of the review, if you agree with it. Have you tried Dishonored? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the Beastly Gamer channel by clicking on the support tab at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.